Emery. Now millions of you may have already seen my son Buddy and his YouTube version of Life Hacks. But for the few of you that haven't, Life Hacks are simply creative yet uh, simple solutions to uh, eh, problems that we may encounter. So my contribution for today has to do with banjo music. Now probably most of you have seen that uh, popular bumper sticker Paddle faster, I hear banjo music. But what happens when you hear banjo music in your house? Well, what you don't want to do, and it's a common mistake, is people tend to grab a mandolin or a guitar, do something like this. Contrary to popular belief, that will actually attract the banjo picker if he's anywhere in the vicinity. So, what I like to do is just keep a simple bag of candy on hand. Now you don't have to have a bag of candy. You can have a bag of cookies or whatever. It'll do the trick. But a bag of candy I think works pretty well when you're hearing the banjo music and you want the music to stop. And what I do is I like to pick out candy that's like, you know, kind of tough to chew, like Bit of Honey, Mary Jane, because it's going to last longer. Especially when the one that's eating it doesn't have good teeth. So let's give it a try. What you don't want to do is you don't want to take a look and catch eye contact with the banjo picker or the source of the banjo music because it may be too late. See what happens. Yep, that did the trick. Now, again, like I said, it's only temporary. If you want a bit longer lasting solution, just get you a jar of moonshine and roll it in there. Now, initially, the banjo music will get just a little better, and then it'll cut out altogether. Usually lasts about 12 hours. And remember this, for those of you guys that are married. If your wife has trouble with you keeping uh, moonshine or candy on hand, just tell her, hey, would you rather wake up in the middle of the night to banjo music? See you next time.